Now that we've discussed the theory behind Einstein's photoelectric effect, let's actually do a practice problem with it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. All right, light with a wavelength of 600 nanometers was directed at a metal surface with a work function of 1.6 electron volts. And we need to remember that one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules, okay? So first we're asked to calculate the electron maximum kinetic energy. So we've got this relationship right here. Energy is equal to h times c over lambda. So Planck's constant times the speed of light over the wavelength, which is also equal to Planck's constant times the frequency. So what we can do is essentially get rid of the h's here, and we can get this relationship right here. Speed of light over the wavelength is equal to the frequency. So let's calculate the frequency first, all right? So the speed of light is 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. The wavelength is 600 nanometers, so to get it in meters, the appropriate units to cancel, I do 600 times 10 to the minus ninth meters. When I divide this out, I find my frequency of the electron is five times 10 to the 14th per second, or units of hertz, okay? Now, I'm also given the work function, which I'm going to need. The work function is 1.6 electron volts, so I need to now calculate the work function in joules. So 1.6 electron volts, I'm going to multiply by this conversion factor, 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th joules per electron volt. So my work function is 2.56 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. All right, work function is in units of joules. All right, now my formula tells me, if I go back to the previous problem, the equation here is that kinetic energy is equal to h times the frequency minus the work function. So if I want to calculate the kinetic energy, I'm going to take h, Planck's constant, multiply by the frequency I just found of the electron, and subtract the work function. So if I do 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34th joule seconds, that's Planck's constant, times the frequency 5 times 10 to the 14th hertz, get that, and then subtract the work function, 2.56 times 10 to the minus 19th joules. That gives me the kinetic energy of that electron, which is its maximum at that frequency. It is 7.53 times 10 to the minus 20th joules. Now, you're dealing with electrons, so the numbers you get are gonna be very small, okay? So just expect them to be small for these kind of problems. All right, that's our first one. Now we're asked to calculate its maximum velocity. Well, this is given the kinetic energy we just found. Remember, kinetic energy is given by this expression, one half times the mass times the square of the velocity. The mass is the mass of an electron, which is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31st kilograms, okay? So if we rearrange this equation and solve for velocity, what we'll get is the velocity is equal to the square root of two times the kinetic energy divided by the mass. So if we do two, times the kinetic energy, 7.53 times 10 to the minus 20th joules, and divide by the mass of the electron, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31st kilograms. We take that square root and we get the velocity of the electron, which is 4.07 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. Okay? The reason the kinetic energy is so small is because the mass is minuscule, okay? So there's the electron's velocity. Now let's calculate the minimum frequency required to eject an electron from the metal. So what's the minimum frequency? Well, that's the threshold frequency. Let's think about how you find that. Where does the threshold frequency occur? Well, it seems to occur on the x-axis, right? It seems to occur on the x-axis where the kinetic energy is, for all intents and purposes, zero, right? So what we do is we use this equation and set kinetic energy equal to zero. Okay, this is the threshold frequency, all right? So we're going to set kinetic energy equal to zero equals h times the threshold frequency, a new naught, minus the work function, okay? Now, we add the work function over the other side. The work function is equal to h times new naught. So solving for the threshold frequency, we, we divide both sides by h. Work function divided by Planck's constant is threshold frequency. So what we get is the work function, which we found on the previous slide, remember? 
and we calculated that. It was 2.56 times 10 to the minus 19th joules divided by Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules seconds, and we get the threshold frequency nu naught, which is 3.86 times 10 to the 14th hertz. This is the minimum frequency required to eject an electron from this metal according to Einstein's experiment. Okay, So that is one example of a problem where you can be asked to calculate things with the photoelectric effect. Um, generally speaking, those are usually the things I'll ask you to calculate. Um, you'll be asked to calculate maximum kinetic energy, maximum velocity, um, not explicitly here, but we did have to calculate the work function, and then a lot of times they'll ask you to calculate the threshold frequency, the minimum frequency required to eject an electron from the metal. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. In the next video, we're actually going to discuss Rutherford's model of the atom and how error in it that was detected by Niels Bohr was used to fuel the movement for quantum mechanics. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.